This is Jonah Dismukes, a freshman from Mobile. The uh, normal starting kicker, Flugner, did not make the trip. No reasons have been given as to why. The kick goes through the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Hood is their best pass rusher, but it's been noticeably absent this year with the loss of Michael Myers to go along with the graduation of Rudd and Staten. That's it for Peterson, a one-handed catch. Wow. Third down and 13, or we'll call it 12. Out of the shotgun. It's wide open. Stop just shy of the first down at the 42 now. 78% on the season. Yeah, but they were 100% last week. Alicia Alexander's in the backfield. Here's Avery looking to find the corner. Good cut. First down, Rebels, and maybe more. Watch the speed. The afterburners. First down at the 20. This will be a 37-yard field goal try for Steve Lindsay. And he hooked it. No good. Wide to the left. Lindsay, who had been very hot of late after missing his first four tries this season, comes up empty. Everybody in the SEC is saying that Tommy Tuberville has got one of the best coached teams in all of the SEC. Out of the eye formation, Alabama. Alexander popping outside. There's the power football, the strength of Curtis Alexander. I should mention that Diaz is the kicker that's not here for Alabama today. Dismukes getting the call for the first time on kickoffs only. And here's Alexander. Up to the 49-yard line. Quincy Jackson in motion. This time, Sean Alexander gets it to midfield as we look at the Rebels defensively. Freddie Kitchens having a very difficult senior year. Hands this time to Sean Alexander. Sean Burrows to about the 41-yard line of Ole Miss. Second down, less than a yard. Alexander, Sean again, this time to the 32. Dennis Riddle comes in. Sixth leading all-time rusher for Alabama. Did not get a touch last week. Out of the shotgun. He's got Riddle. Red beautifully by Malika Griffin. Flugner. Someone got a hand on that. No good from 42 yards. McAllister in the backfield. Patrick Sack. Back at the 18-yard line, and Alabama getting a lot of penetration. Alabama has already tied LSU in that department, but I think they'll have a lot more pressure on them. Reagan King to punt it away. A high punt taken by Arvin Richard at his 34. He fumbles it. The Rebels have got it. Out of the shotgun. Patrick a post corner. Caught and out of bounds. They said, we're going to go after him. Second and ten. Over the middle for three. Coming after. Now they peel off. Daniel Pope sending it to Andre Rowe at the 30. Flags down. Foul is holding by the returning team during the return. 10 yard foul from the spot of the hole. First down. So they assumed that Alabama was going to bring their defensive backs to put pressure on the quarterback. Oregon King to put it away. Arvin Richard back deep this time calls for a fair catch at the 28-yard line. Put on the rain gear and he said he'll probably have the time back next week if it's good weather. Look out, here goes Alexander. Curtis Alexander this time. Sean Alexander dots the eye. Ed Sissom, the lead fullback. There's a fumble. Alexander finally does hit the turf and Alabama very fortunate that they didn't turn it over. Daniel Polk, the junior from Alpharetta, Georgia, to put it away. Low and returnable. Well, and he'll let it go inside the 10. What a mistake. 
What a huge error. And that punt was very returnable. Twin tight ends with Antoine Scott and Rufus French in the game. Nice catch at the sideline, controlled by Andre Roan. Third down, less than a yard. McAllister, first down to the 22. Second and nine. Over the middle, why not? Robert Reed. Fumble. Alabama's got it. Fernando Bryant's got it at the 35. And in the back. Here comes the blitz. Kitchens with time for Quincy Jackson. First down, Alabama at the 20. I should mention with all the controversy over who's kicking, this is actually Brian Cunningham, not Ryan Flugner. <laughs> he changed to the Flugner jersey we were never told prior to this game. We only found out after the game had gotten underway and the first field goal opportunity was missed, as is this one. And Anthony Wright will be trying to outduel the Heisman front runner, Peyton Manning. French again. You know, he does a remarkable job, Dave, of making sure he catches it with his hands. A little delay to Avery, and it breaks free. Just shy of the first down at the 40. But Tommy Tuberville allows his assistants the opportunity to come in with a game plan and execute it. Now Avery with a speed. He'll beat you Avery way. They've got French, Roan, and Peterson all to the wide side of the field, and they go inside to Avery. Look at Avery get away. First down, Ole Miss, and a flag comes down. That's really the only time injuries hurt Ole Miss this year. Avery again. Just hopscotching his way to the 10. 7 nothing, and Ole Miss just outside the 10. Avery, it's wide open for him. Andy leading. Touchdown. Now, in many respects, this could be Alabama's season. This, they must have something good happen before halftime. Goss to the 36, and you say, well, wait a minute, Tim, it's still October. It's got to go downfield. Coming down on two minutes now. Nice pass and catch. This one to Chad Goss as he's hitting the deck at the 46-yard line. Curtis Alexander. I think he's got another first down, Tim. Very close near the 37-yard line. Third down, less than a yard. Curtis Alexander has the first down, piercing the 35 and... Down to the 34 of Ole Miss. Rutledge again. And the big tight end rumbles to the 16-yard line. This has been one of those show-me drives for Alabama, and they've done it, at least to this point. I don't think they want to go in the locker room. Curtis Alexander finally spun down at the 9. Play fake. Rutledge is wide open and Kitchens missed it. But now he'll tuck it and have a touchdown. This lead could be very beneficial for a team like Ole Miss if uh, the weather gets really sloppy in the second half. McAllister, he has a first down beyond the 40 to the 42 yard line. They do have a first down. But it's uh, apparent that Tommy Tuberville's ready to go in. Yeah. And who could blame him? Exactly right. He's got to be happy. History in the making for Mississippi. We'll find out in the second half. Stuart Patridge, the senior who's won a national title at the junior college level, trying for uh, yet another magnificent performance to lead his team to victory. Third and five. Slant, good 
for a first down to Quincy Jackson. That'll fly at them. Excellent catch. Near a first down to Shamari Buchanan. Let's check the market. Boy. I believe it's a left foot mark. Oh. Please stand by. Station KIH 55 will be up shortly. The storm was moving east northeast at 30 to 35 miles per hour. The storm will affect the Raymer, Grady, Dublin, and Pine level areas. Here comes another field goal. Look at that. 0 for 2. Brian Cunningham probably wishes he had his old number back. But he does get this one through. So he's one out of three today. It's third and 15 in poor field position. Alabama showing blitz. Here comes Stanley. And Patrick just passed to Hurd. And very close to a first down. He got him with cadence. Yeah, he sure did. You hear him emphasize, you can hear it. We've got great audio, and you can hear him emphasize that call. You know, you can hear Tuberville uh, echo the thoughts of how good Matt Luke has been for this program. For a couple of hours, we may have a face mask there. Deuce McAllister stopped by 42, Paul Pickett. And it, that's, a, that's not a happy camper. Well, you know, everything is going wrong. Second and nine out of the shotgun. French in a slot right. Blitz from the backside, and that one was nearly picked by Wagner. It almost fell into his jersey. Foul is an illegal pass by the offense. Also loss of down. Oh. Third down. Arvin Richard back deep at his 30-yard line. High punt and a fair catch called for. Bobbled but caught this time by Arvin Richard. to the 41, maybe the 42-yard line. Tuberville just took it to the next level. A third and one, nothing for this McAllister. Absolutely nothing. Boy, and that's Hood, 34. Robert Reed, number eight in red, one to watch. This time it is kicked by King, fair catch by Townsend. At the 21-yard line. Trying to achieve a little history by winning against both Alabama and LSU in the same season for the first time since 68. Play fake by Kitchen. Last catch by Calvin Hall at the 44. Alexander, big running game, big hole, big touchdown. For her, first down. Well, Kim Anderson said he rode through a tornado. <laughs> so, <laughs> our uh, spotter. Down he goes. Travis Carroll, the young man we just mentioned a moment ago. 44, the first to make contact. Richard spun down quickly. Tackle to tackle and then throwing deep. Alexander off tackle and ahead for about six, maybe seven yards. Third down, less than a yard. Sneak by Kitchens for the first down. Freddie's been tough today, give him credit. He's 12 of 19 for 189 yards. A major collision just shy of midfield. Quincy Jackson pops free.
Ole Miss's defense has got to come up with a big play. Well, they've got to gamble. This is where you've got to gamble. Make something happen. Don't sit back and let them just blow it off the line. Wide open. Right there for the touchdown. Ed Sissom. Bang, right into the end zone. Nice little crossing pattern thrown up by Bruce Arians and company. The offensive coordinator, that one's blocked. And a very big block by Timothy Strickland again. Double tight ends for Ole Miss. Avery, the lone setback. Avery off the corner. Well, this is the first time we've seen that formation, and it probably won't be the last, given the outcome. Patridge's pass caught by Peterson. He has been their down and distance wide out all season long. Had a couple of fourth down receptions against LSU last week. Just over eight to play in the game. Avery, look out. Fumbles it. Fernando Bryant on top at the 25. And they come over and just challenge him. Dennis Riddle in the game on second and nine. On the depth at tailback. Coming into the fray, he's up to the 32-yard line. Power football. Look out. It's the Riddler. Touchdown. He just rose up. He said, I'm not getting the carries. You know, in Tennessee, he didn't touch the football. And he said, just when I get my chances, I'm going to, I'm going to do something with it. And boy, did he do something with it. You think uh, Cunningham may be wondering where Strickland is? He just missed another extra point. The extra point is no gimme. No. And by any stretch, Lindsey will try, but the percentages say kick rather than go for the two from this location. Tim, there's nothing wrong with celebration. And okay. it's blocked. Wow. And this could be returned for two. Oh, he pulled up. Well, I think he got hurt. Townsend pulled his yeah. hamstring, it appeared, as he was setting sail down the sideline. Well, it just changes the complexion of the game. Sure it does. Last six minutes of the game are altered by that call. Riddle to the 30-yard line. Well, you got to gamble here. you got to stop him. Gamble. Shoot through there. Do something. Riddle bounces outside for a first down. Still a lot of time left in the game, and uh, you don't quit in this situation. Riddle tries to cut back. The ball's loose. The ball is loose. Yeah. Ole Miss has it. I think it might have been Burgess. You've got at least got a, a shot in there. First and ten for Patrick. Now it's caught by Andre Rowe. Out of bounds in Alabama territory at the 49. Boy, under horrible conditions. Heard. Out of bounds quickly at the 36-yard line. Heard and Roan are the wide receivers. Set to the left side to the bottom of your screen. Patrick. This is Jennifer Schramm in the WSFA Storm Center. It is going to be a very busy night and even into tomorrow. You can see we have um, thunderstorms all the way back into Mississippi. <laughs> the 49-yard line of Ole Miss. There could be as many as eight bowl-eligible teams out of this 12-team conference by season's end. Ole Miss goes for the block. Hope gets it away, and Andre Rowan will take it. That's a block in the back. And Rowan is 
pulled down at the 23-yard line, but they'll bring that one back. Well, the time and the game out. is yeah. over, so that's it. No need to bring it back. I thought he may have gotten out of bounds in time, but the ball game is over, and the Alabama Crimson Tide have beaten the Ole Miss Rebels by a final score of 29 to 20. They move to four and three, two and three in the SEC. Dodge a fourth consecutive loss for the first time since 1955. So they were looking at history books as well on the negative side coming into today's game.